Welcome back everyone, Dre Coggins with you again, and that's not where I meant to zoom in, up here! There we go! Before we get started, if you're enjoying the series, please hit that like button, it helps me out, and if you haven't already joined the clan, hit the subscribe button, and stay tuned for more great content. Uh, we are back, we are, uh, gonna have to have a look at a few things. Uh, like the resource requirement of places. So, we have... Uh, I have an issue where I don't have enough um, supplies. I mean, don't have enough power. Or didn't have enough power. We are 0.07 power short here now. So I'm going to take this fine little laser turret and take him apart. Now, reason Meteor being... Incoming. Meteor incoming. Oh boy. Shoot. Shoot. Somebody shoot that thing down. Somebody shoot that thing down. Thank you. Phew. Didn't even see it fire, but that was scary. Uh, so, issue is, with the, uh, with the power drain from all those fine turrets that we built, we now probably can salvage because we have a bunch of vehicles. So let's look. We got this guy, which is our dude. Uh, can he be repaired? Is that a thing? How does he get repaired? No? Structural integrity. Okay, he apparently he doesn't get repaired. So let's go bring him to the fight. Now, where's our other guys? You're gonna come over here. Who else we got here? You got an explorer. Alright, you got another explorer. You guys are just uh, money grabbers. Another rover here. I think we're gonna bring we have a, food a couple of these entirely offline. Take them apart. We're gonna have to build a food dome real quick. Uh, what do we got? Where are you? You are malfunctioned. Good. You are perfectly fine. You are there. And you are... Are you on our team? No. So you're an actual target. Okay, you're way down there in the bottom. You're targetable. Get over here. Target this guy. Uh, there, that's fine. He's one of ours. Bring him in. He can become the defenses here. We'll bring you offline. Where else? Okay. Can we fire on this guy? There he goes. Bam. Dodge him. Dodge him. Dodge him. Those are heat seeking missiles. Dodge faster. Dodge. Dodge. Parry. Twist. Dodge. Oh, yeah, I'm dodging, but I'm not shooting. That's bad. Okay, uh, you guys come down and help. Run away, man, run away. You're about to be destroyed. Oh, you're destroyed. Salvage. Okay, well, that didn't work out great. What else we got? We got three of you. Come on. You guys should be able to take care of them. Take them out. Yeah. Big bada boom. ESOCorp is done. Its rovers, either smoldering piles of scrap, or under our total control. Under our total control. We now have a dominant power. These rovers are now the ultimate force in the universe. That's not what it says. An attack from Earth never thought we'd see the day. Has this caused a rift between their two worlds? Yes, we're sending rovers back at them. Ha ha! No, wait. No, bad idea. Um, <clears throat> wounds are too fresh to tell how deep they are. Might we have a chance? Uh, might, might we have a chance we can, ugh, we can walk them off and move forward together? Too early to tell, really. Back to, back on Earth, ESOCorp executives have been arrested, and the company has been shut down in, ma in many major nations. <clears throat> this will certainly cause economic upheaval, but the ruling parties have deemed it necessary to send a message to for all future warlords. Space is neither up for military conquest nor the testing ground for weapons. Developing space-oriented war machines still remains against the rules, and we will continue to pretend that this was just a fluke. Humanity has shed its need for war with grace. Okay, if you say so, mister. Looking at the smoking battlefield, uh, so far from Earth, we can't help but wonder if this indeed is, this is indeed the case. This, however, brings us to the next question. 
do we destroy the prototype weapons made for the Martian environment and salvage uh, what resources we can from the rovers, or do we keep the technology in anticipation of another fluke? Gain new technology extractor AI? What? What? That's amazing! Put uh, six easy three on display. Destroy the rest. We'd be fools to be caught defenseless again. Well, um, I think we're going to keep them. Whistleblower. All right, there we go. And the reason I'm keeping them is because uh, we're going to replace our turrets with them. They were once used to, to seek vengeance and damage and hurt and pain, and now they shall be used to bring peace and tranquility. Uh, I.e. we're going to use them to knock down laser, or, or uh, things, you know, bad guys. The rocks, those bad guys. Uh, you're damaged. You're damaged. You're not damaged. Okay, so we got one here, good. Uh, you can probably... I don't know if I need to take all of our turrets off. Meteor but... incoming. Oh boy! Get out of the way! 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 Sheepers. It's a dangerous world. Oh, what? What? Did you did you just try to shoot down that rocket? Or that meteor with a rocket? You're not a laser defense system. You're very much not a laser defense system. Whoa, oh, oh, look at the jittery lag. That's awesome. Okay. So I guess the question is, what do we do about... Um, about these... Where are we? Build another rover over here, please. Um, what do we do about the lasers and stuff? Do we keep? Do we keep them? I don't know. I think maybe we need to set up basic laser defense still. So maybe it was premature to knock them down. We got starving colonists. Really? Oh, that's terrible. Are you guys all starving? All you renegades? Starve, renegade, starve. I love it. Okay, so this dome was offline and that was part of the problem. Which is very unfortunate. Okay. I feel like we take down these defensive turrets because they're rockets and I don't think they're going to do the job of the lasers very well. And then we replace them with proper laser turret defenses. Mm -hmm. Look at him. Look at him like all glitchy walking. It's an interesting way to take care of uh, the movement. We're minus 26.7 power. That's bad news bears. You are now short on stop. Oh yeah, because this guy was offline. That is that is detrimental to our health for sure. Uh, metal storage. I suppose we're gonna need it over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these offline right here. We're gonna take this out. We're going to build a proper new upgraded storage. We'll do a few, uh, a few fancy dancy things here with our storage systems and whatnot. That is also metal deposit. You're gonna have to unload these ones so we can then build this thing and then look at them go. Wow, that's a that's a busy bees. A few little busy bees. Let's watch this thing. This is going to be amazing when it fills up. Watch it go crazy. Come on. Come on. You did all that busy work. You know, get back. You're all probably off charging. There we go. Build it. Build me a base. Where's my machine parts, dudes? There's two of them. Come on. Build me my machine parts. Bring me my one more machine part. Come on. Funding Somebody. received. Funding still. <gasps> From Delaney. Your name is Delaney? We can't have your name being Delaney. This can be... Yep, 
This dome can be the guardian. Guardian's Hallow. There we go. It is a, a defender of the peace. That's what it is. These guys are going to go away. We could use a bigger concrete deposit somewhere, but probably an off that would probably be an awkward spot to have it there, I suppose. Rare metal storage can go away there. Let's reshuffle our depot to a regular rare metal storage and put him right in there. And make some space. Now, why are you not running? Because uh, you have no power. That would be why you're not running. Let's let's power him, shall we? Good. I think you got the metal to make the storage work. Good. Look at him go. He's just gonna crank in the deposits for the metal. That's so fantastic. Okay. Next, we want concrete storage. You're not gonna fit anywhere, are you? Oh, that's unfortunate. And even terrain, huh? Okay. Well, we do need to uh, consider food here, so let's look at our food stocks. 296. If we built a small dome that was just a food dome, could we fit it in here? Uneven. Oh, that's unfortunate. I was hoping we would be able to. All right, well, we're going to have to put it up by uh, Defender's Hollow then. Let's build a food dome. A food, food dome. I have a space that I could probably use if I removed this. What is this one? This is the Hawking Institute. Let's pull that out of there and pull... Hmm, I could probably dome it from there. Uh, that is a rare metal deposit. would be a terrible idea to have running. Hmm. Where do we put it? None of this is permafrost here. I mean, we could put it over here, but why not connect it so they can share services? Let's do that. Little dome, little dome, how are you? Um, instead of having this here, instead of having the Martian University here, but we put it in here. Let's do that. Where's our Martian University? Smart people thing. There it is. Oops. Oh, really? I gotta wait for this guy to... Oh, I can't build it because he's... Is he out of power? He is out of power. Okay, please come and repair him. Because that's really annoying. I can't build there because there's a drone in the way. Alright. There we go. Right there. Lovely. Now. Uh, build the Hawking Institute actually back there. That would be fine. I'm okay with it. It's a pretty building. Now. Let's go ahead and build that food dome. Do we do a small or medium dome? Small dome. Small dome is plenty. It's not going to need much of anything. So we can just connect it right here. Nope. Uneven terrain. Really? That's all uneven terrain? That's weird. Hmm. I am not okay with this. Cold terrain. Well, it's all cold terrain, folks. It's all cold terrain. I want it down over this way. I really, really do. That counts as uneven. That's very unfortunate. Uh, right there. Boom. A little bubble next to the other bubble. There and there. Oops. There. Double up that connection. Then we're going to go ahead and build a passage. It'll run from here to here. No dome. Yeah, I, I'm aware of that. So let's build it. <laughs> I didn't realize it was actually counting as no dome. Uh, what else? We got money yet? We have a bit. Let's go ahead and grab us a uh, drone hub. A little bit of electronics. Sure, no problem. All right. Funding received. 336. 14 starving colonists. Aww. We have That's a delivery on the space elevator. Die, 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 die. A delivery on the space elevator. Good, love it. Monies, drone heavy load. Yes, yes it would be. I understand your predicament, sir. And that is a lot of shuttling. 
We could probably use some more. Let's go ahead and build another shuttle. We are past the danger zone, folks. I feel like we've kind of made it. Not done yet, because we still have a few goals to achieve, but I feel like we've we've survived. The biggest dangers to us were that they would take out our power during that event, and they didn't manage to. It took out a lot. We still have buildings not working, right? Uh, no, I think we've gone ahead and repaired everything. Why are you guys down? You've been frozen. Why? Why would you be frozen? Why would this guy not work and do his job? A colonist has died. Aw, colonist died. Bye, renegades. Enjoy. Enjoy the afterlife. Um. And another shuttle hub, maybe? Probably a good idea. Go ahead and take that out of the way. Get this guy out of here. Go ahead and build a storage over here. <clears throat> good. And you'll get rid of the junk. And then get me a shuttle hub. I like shuttle hubs. Shuttle hubs are great. Shuttle, shuttle everywhere. Alright, uh, and I'd like some more um, water. For sure. Moisture evaporators. We have an oxygen Bad shortage. Idea. We have a water shortage. We have a power shortage. Ugh. That's all uneven terrain. That's very disappointing. Uh, so we're not going to build it there. Moisture evaporators. We could put one in here. Mm hmm. Are you going to be in the heat? Where's the heater? He's, he's hiding in there somewhere. Let's bump him up to six hexes. Good, I think that'll be enough to put him on there. Good. Now, what do we have for resource storage? Funding received. Okay, we got we got rovers all over the place here. Where's our our actual rovers? Did you guys get made with drones? Really? That's fantastic. Um, somewhere down here, please. You come over here. There's a guy to salvage somewhere over here. Yes, and you. Can salvage somebody over here, I think. There. You're over here. Over here. Get, get. Get over there. Good. Okay, we got vehicles all over the place now. We got three explorers. They should be doing, yeah, 240 for research. 2700 without any, uh. Without any, um. Outsourcing. Can you come and grab me that tech, please? Do, 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 do. And there, and there, and there. Okay, you go to this one. Bring you down, I know, somewhere down here for now. Man, we have a lot of rovers. Okay, one up there is good. One over there. Two, that's good. The others are one of them over here. That's fantastic. Another one there, and another one there. Okay, he can come through this way, and he can come hang out up here. He can come through this way, and actually also come hang out up here. And we got another rover over here. Let's uh, repair you. And let's repair you. You can always salvage them later, right? I think. Yep. Uh, so you guys are going to come over here. We have a couple of this area, no? Yes, we do. Uh, we're going to put one of them over this way. Uh, right, right in here is fine. Do we have a laser turret in here or just the rocket turrets? We have four rocket turrets. Let's get rid of this guy entirely. Three rocket turrets, sorry. Three, Seth. Three. Now we're going to actually go ahead and build a Anomaly proper analyzed. laser turret in here. Somewhere. Resources are low. Go 
good, you go away. Which ones did we which ones did we delete? You and you. Good. What's low now? Food? Is that actually true? Oh, it is dropping like a brick. Okay. We have to tend to that. ASAP. Okay, you're going to be you're built. Okay, next thing. We're gonna take care of this actually next episode. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna work on this next episode. I do oh, I do however have to get control of my mouse again apparently. What the heck? Just weirded out on me there. Uh, grab me a network node builder in here. That is beautiful. It's gonna cost 20 electronics, 40 sto um, concrete, and 40 metals. Maintenance is three electronics. Consumes 20 power, but works as a major science boost. Uh, then the arcology, we don't have one of those yet, so let's throw the arcology in. Uh, we could put it in there. And then we could do the water concert, water re reclamation center. That would be cool to put in this one. Or we could do the arcology here too. I think the arcology here too. We do. We're gonna do uh, the clone vat in there. That's right. We're gonna crank out some population. Maybe hit the 500 uh, population limit here if we can survive the process. <clears throat> And get ourselves uh, some serious. Nice. Get ourselves some serious. Uh... I wonder if I just do that, they should be able to. Oh no, I can't because they can't. They can't access that. That's unfortunate. Uh, they should be able to access that. We got to get ourselves some serious population boost, and I think that is going to come from locked objects. What? Is it blocked? You're counting as uneven terrain and I can't do that? What? What? Uh, okay. Uh, so I can't go under construction. There we go. That's the path right there. That's an unfortunate path. Let's not do that. I can do it again though. I can do it like this, like this, like this, and that. Good. That'll only take that one spot. Then we can go ahead and put some basic anemone, anemones? Amenities? <laughs> yep, that word. Uh, basic amenities in here. And uh, just everybody will be happy now. Uh, I think we do the diner right there. And then a little infirmary in case they uh, get sick on the job. Sick on the farm. Or sick of farming, one or the other. That will be a nice little dome for us. We'll deal with that, though, continue that in the next episode. Looks like we have some serious need for more nurseries. Uh, so let's pump a few of those in here. And um, here. And that's not part of the dome, right? That's not part of the circle. Good. That's weird. It just looks weird to me. There. That's excellent. Okay, so we got the nursery division expanded. We can bring everything back online here. Finish it all off. Make it make it awesome. This dome is going to be incredible. People are going to be happy. And uh, kids are going to be born like crazy and or cloned like crazy once we get that clone vat in. Ah, it's going to be so good. So, our goal, I think, is to hit at least 500 population. Let me know if you have any other suggestions for our goal or any things we should be doing. I'm kind of thinking about distributing these guys. It's going to be important to distribute these guys around the base a little bit. And other than that, I don't know that we have much more to do. I mean, that's, a, that's kind of the end of the, the end of the things that I can think of that we need to do here. So another challenge? I'm not sure what. Let me know. Give us ideas in the comments. Debate it. Discuss it. You know, Yell and scream at me and tell me to do things specifically. You know, backseat drive all you like. Esocorp tried it. That didn't work well for them. Uh, but other than that, I guess uh, we're good to go. Thank you so much for joining me, and we'll see you in game.